We live in a technologically advanced age, yet the physical environment, such as the weather, moisture, or even heat, can all have a great impact on any security or military operation. Yet even if carried out on earth, air or sea, one can still maximise and even exploit the effects of weather and climate to one's full advantage. Here at the Met Office, our dedicated defence team can provide those in charge of operations with specific aids and tools. Collectively, they're known as the Defence Met Capability Software Suite. And these have been proven to assist personnel to complete their tasks faster, safer, more accurately and economically, and in some instances, lasting longer. Joining me now is Damien Wilson from the Met Office. Thanks very much for joining me. Um, you've helped develop a number of tactical aids and support tools based on expert weather understanding, I believe, here at the Met Office. Um, can you tell us a little bit about these? The first one I want to talk to you about is the Met Office night illumination model, or MONIM. Although night vision goggles are great for seeing in the dark, they still do need some light in order to work. And what MONIM does is consider the sources of light available at night time, for instance, the moonlight or, or twilight, starlight, even man-made light sources, to provide an estimate of the amount of light that's present at the surface. So how does MONIM help in any operational uh, situation? So we will model the amount of light from each of those sources and also the way the atmosphere scatters and transmits that light, bouncing light between clouds and the, the surface. Um, to provide a, a quantitative estimate of the light level at the surface and hence the effectiveness of the night vision goggles. Another important aid that you've developed that also exploits our understanding of the atmosphere is something known as NEON. What does it actually do? So NEON is our thermal contrast infrared tactical decision aid. What NEON does is to look at the temperature differences um, between a target and, uh, and the background. Now the atmosphere has a, a significant impact on the, both the temperatures of the surface and through radiative transfer, the amount of radiation that is actually received by uh, an airborne sensor. And Damien, how might NEON be actually utilised in an operational situation? As an example, let's think about um, the temperature of a bare soil or a, say a, a truck passing along a road exposed to um, a clear sunny day, they, those surfaces will heat up quite dramatically in the sun, whereas the temperature of a, a field of crops, which is transpiring water to the atmosphere, will remain a lot lower. So we'll be able to predict the, the thermal difference, the temperature difference between each of those surfaces. And then we can apply our knowledge of radiative transfer to determine what those temperatures look like at the sensor. This allows you to make decisions about the best time of day or best altitude at which to do your, your mission. Thanks for joining us, uh, Damien. Thank you, Tony. So another two essential services the Met Office Defence Team offers as part of the suite are evaporation duct and heat stress. Here's Royal Navy Commander Derek Swanick, military liaison at the Met Office, to explain how they work and, more importantly, how they have assisted the UK military forces. Well, firstly, evaporation ducts are physical features of up to a few tens of metres that exist over the ocean. Um, they trap radar energy close to the surface and therefore can dramatically affect the detection and counter-detection ranges that we see on a radar system. So a VAP duct allows forecasters at sea to provide advice to commanders about how well their radar will perform and how far they'll be able to detect contacts, but also how far away their own ship will be seen by opposing radars. The last tool we developed to support mission planning is heat stress prediction. Military personnel participating in training and operational deployments can be vulnerable to heat stress particularly if activities include deployment in the desert, tropical regions, operating combat vehicles or equipment under adverse climatic conditions, wearing protective gear in high temperature environments, working in engine or boiler rooms or other enclosed conditions. Excessive heat stress degrades mental and physical performance capabilities and potentially causes heat casualties having a drastic effect on the success of a mission. Well, certainly the feedback I've had across the whole suite 
from both commanders and users has been incredibly favourable. It enables them to make faster, more accurate decisions and to deploy operations more successfully. In today's brief presentation, we hope that we've been able to give you an overview of the Met Office's Defence and Security Decision Support Suite. We hope that by learning about these invaluable services, you'll appreciate the benefits and environmental advantage they could bring to your defence and security operations. For more detailed information, go to metoffice.gov.uk forward slash defence. And thank you for watching.